Yo, what is happening, guys? Welcome back to another reaction. And we're back with another Tom McDonald reaction. He's just released a new song. It already came out two minutes ago, and it is called Brainwashed. Now, well, I'm not a Tom song in a little while, you know. We had a real serious one last time. It was really good. And now we've brainwashed. He's back to, I assume, his controversial type music, where he's just going to point out all the fake woke people. You know what I mean? So, uh, I can't wait to see who he calls out and what he has to say, as always. So, remember, if you enjoy the reaction, smash the like button. But without further ado, let's just jump right into it and see what Tom got to say. Let's go. Half the country fell asleep, but they scream woke. We're distracted by vaccines and TV shows. Politics, celebrity, gossip, popular, neat quotes. Black lives, white lives, which lives mean most? We only dedicate one day to remember our fallen soldiers, the men and women who died young. Yo, that, that's true though. He was saying about that they fall asleep and they act woke and then they're saying black lives matter, all lives matter. And it's like we're fighting over what lives just matter most. It's just stupid. And that's very true. He says we only have one day a year that celebrate our fallen soldiers who fought for the country. Every, uh, like even Britain, you should always, you should celebrate that every day because they fought for your fucking freedom. As simple as that. Like Britain, America, all of that. Like they fight for your country. So... It shouldn't just be one day a year. So I agree with him, yeah. But if you come out the closet as Caitlyn Jenner, you're a hero and you get a whole pride month. The most dangerous pandemic's propaganda from these clowns. Only mass that's gonna save us is duct tape on their mouths. Don't speak. We don't need to defund police. Need to defund the media who lies through their teeth like... Facts. 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 He says we need to defund the media who lie through their fucking teeth. It's true. It's true. See these, see these news reports that talk shit and they spread shit and they talk all this bullshit and politicians even. It's all fall. They lie through their fucking teeth. We need to defund them because they're the fucking bullshit and liars. Like that's what they fucking are. I also remember Tom McDonald literally posted a video on his Instagram. I think it was the other day saying that um, there was problems with this and they apparently tried to take it down or something like that. I, I honestly, so far, I can't blame him because I see where he's going with it. So. Big pharma doesn't cure you, dog. Cause every patient that gets cured is a customer lost. And big oil runs the world. The only wars that get fought are with the countries who have natural resources they want. Heard him claiming if a white man braids his hair and likes rap, he's appropriating culture. But if a white man acts too white, he's white trash. He's a racist, he's a bigot, he's a monster. Yeah, you can't win. Let's just have the conversation. Not every liberal is dumb, not all Republicans are racist. The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against. Them. Yeah. They can't stop us. Cause we're ready to fight. Trying to brainwash us. Yeah. But we won't let freedom die. The whole world's brainwashed. Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets. The whole world's brainwashed. It's us against them, and ain't you against me. How did monkeys become people and people turned into sheep? They put fluoride in the water that's keeping us all asleep. Claim they want what's best for us. I find it hard to believe because they've been selling us cigarettes since we was 18. Facts. It's a, he literally said, how did monkeys turn into people and people turned into sheep? It's facts because people just follow what everybody else says nowadays. And I got to touch on something he said previously. I can't remember what way he worded it, but he mentioned about how curing people. And he said, curing one person means that a customer is lost to something else. No. It's going to be controversial, but I'm going to say it. Tom has said before he believes there's a cure for cancer. I also believe there's a cure for cancer. My theory, just real quick, my theory is I think that the government have a cure for cancer. They know how to cure it, but they refuse to do it because then if they were to cure it, people would stop paying millions a year in America. Like, we get free health care in Britain, thank God. But in America, they pay millions a year for, like, chemotherapy and all these treatments that if cancer was cured, the, the government would actually lose a lot of money. So the way he was saying that they don't want to cure something because then that means customer loss or something else, it means their profit goes down, they lose money. And why would they want to do that? Because they view it as, ah, uh, I mean... People die from it, but we make money. That's the way the government think. Because they're bastards. <laughs> so, just want to touch on that. News, fake, woke, distract and divide. You're either right or you're left or you're black or you're white. Big tech don't need a microchip to hack in your life. Because the phone inside your pocket is a tracking device. And I mean. I'm a sick of rappers or Joe Biden looking like he ate a hundred cents. Because censoring the president and kicking him off Twitter is a bigger threat to freedom than foreign ballistic missiles. You don't trust the police or the government, but you want people giving up their right to own a firearm. 
arm Why would you be comfortable if police and the government The only people on the planet with the right to buy a gun White privilege getting amplified to reinforce the vision It convinces white people that they're favored by their skin And black people getting angry because they're told they're treated different So the conflict is between us and never with the system Let's just I mean, yeah Like, yeah <laughs> I mean, I, mean I, I definitely agree that white people do get treated better because they do, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I it, it's like what he said earlier. If they didn't treat, well, not treat, but like, if they didn't run it where they were pitting people against each other, like it's like Republicans and liberals. Obviously, we don't have that in Britain, but in America, you know, we have Protestants, Catholics, and shit over here. But they have that pin you against each other. White, black, pin you against each other. Fucking, I don't know whether the vaccine is the government trying to like install something in you or whether it's an actual vaccine pin us against each other no matter what it's pinning you against each other we can't work together because then if we work together we might be smart enough to go against them because a lot of people just don't know us that but uh if we work together we'll probably be strong enough to go against them they don't want conversation that. not every liberal is dumb not all republicans are racist the yeah. government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along we'll probably go against them yep I really like the visuals as well, the way I had the we spinning thing as well, the hypnotize shit. Yep. Train the people only to consume step two. Infiltrate adults with the news step three. Indoctrinate the children through the schools and the music and the apps on the phones that they use step four. Separate the right from the left step five. Separate the white from the black step six. Separate the rich from the poor. Use religion and equality to separate them more step. Oh my god, Tom, stop talking. <laughs> stop it. Oh my god, <laughs> take a breath. Oh my god, I see no lies. Oh my god, like it's just went for like one five six steps and I heard no lies. Seven fabricate a problem made a lie step eight put it on the news every night step nine when people start to fight and divide take control this is called situational design. They can't stop us cause we're ready yeah. to fight. <laughs> Oh god, yes. Watch. Yep. Well, <laughs> that was Tom McDonald brainwashed. Hang on. Let me just let me just make sure you see it real quick. You know. Well done, <laughs> well done. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he said what a lot of he said a lot of true fucking things. He said a lot of facts, and that's all. I said. <laughs> it's the way he, the way he did that step thing. That was so fucking good. The way he did that step thing, like I was so good. The way he literally says like put it in the media, manipulate them, and blah blah blah, and then he says they try to pin us against each other, no matter what. White against black, Republican against liberals, like, even like I said, something as stupid as people thinking that the vaccine is there to control you versus people who actually want the vaccine, that even pins you against shit, like, shit like that. I mean, shit, <laughs> he spoke facts, there's, it ain't nothing new, Where's this is us after every time I go on video, he, he spoke facts, like, simple as, uh, and as always, well done to Nova for the video, I thought the video was very good, I love the way that, I like the way that, he was sitting looking at all the TVs and it was all static and all. Um, and then as well, the wee, uh, what do you call it? The wee circle, like spinning around to kind of like hypnotize you and shit. Because that's what the media does. Like they hypnotize you. They fucking, they manipulate you and shit. So I, I thought it was pretty good. So again, well done, Thomas. You spot facts and well done, Nova. You made a banging video. So as always. It's a banger. It's factual. <laughs> and it's great. But uh, yeah, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button if you haven't yet already. And uh, yeah, as always, have an amazing day. Think positive and test negative. And I'll see you in the next one. So, uh, peace. Fearless.